Matt Machen is with me. Matt, well played. Uh, a fine 60 today and certainly one of, the, one of the better innings that you've played for Sussex already. Yeah, obviously it's pleasing and personal to get a few runs. Um, obviously as a whole it's pretty disappointing to be beaten like that and it um, just shows you um, how, how good an opposition they were with being the world champions. You were striking the ball very cleanly, three, three very nice sixes, went down to the ground, that was lovely. Yeah, it's always nice to hit a few sixes, especially in 2020, so no, that was nice, got some good bats. There was an opportunity to open, wasn't there, at the start of this season, you obviously put your hand up and said, I'll have a go at that. In 2020, Gregor? Yeah. Yeah, um, I sort of did it at the back end of last year, um, I batted three in one day cricket, so it's probably why I preferred to bat, but um, no, obviously I love opening back in 2020, and um, yeah, a long way to continue, hopefully. I know you're a keen student of the game. Well, you must learn from watching someone like uh, Tilakaratni Dilshan with his scoop and everything else. Yeah, I mean, as I said, they're world champions, and you know Dilshan's done it for many years all throughout the world. And uh, although he disappointed in losing that manner, you know, it's actually quite inspiring to see to see their skill level and see where they are as players, and it inspires you know a lot of young people inside. It inspires them to sort of progress and improve and try and get to that level. It's very difficult there as a fielder, isn't it, when you you've made a low total and and, and you realise basically they're at the absolute top of their form. It, yeah, to an extent it does. Um, and as I said, they're, they're all world class, and um, we were looking for wickets up top. We thought it was 140, was 150 was par. Um, on another day, you know. They took a big punt and another day they could be three or four down in the power play, but that's the way it goes. This aside, it's been a great start in 2020 for Sussex. Um, you just about get home yeah. against Surrey here on the Friday, and then you defend a, a fairly low total, just 120 odd, against Middlesex at Lords. Yeah. Two wins out of two. Two out of two, kind of asked for a better start. Um, obviously, I don't think we're playing our best cricket as a team just yet. Uh, probably playing about 70 75%, so that's obviously very encouraging. It's a long competition, another 12 games left, and uh, hopefully we can keep moving our skill level and, and gelling as a team for that tournament. The other week you played for Scotland against England in the, in the <laughs> what it turned out to be a 2020. It was meant to be a 50-50, but it was restricted. Second top score with, with a 30. That was a good innings for me as well. Yeah, as I said, obviously, um, privileged to play for Scotland. And, you know, I've played the likes of Pakistan, England, Australia in the last 12 months. And it just keeps testing you as a player and seeing where your score level is and hopefully one day getting to where these guys are. And in your terms, obviously you, you want to play for Sussex as often as possible in all formats. Oh, absolutely, I mean that's my goal this year, I want to play as much cricket in the first team as possible. Obviously with the likes of Luke Wright, Matt Pryor and people like that back at the moment, it does make it a little bit tricky, especially in four-day cricket. But um, now, as I said, I'm absolutely delighted with you know, starting in the team and hopefully I can really progress through the middle and the latter end of the season. Thank you. Cheers.